it's really changed a lot with the advent of uh, Pro Tools and things, you know, unlimited tracks. You know, we used to have mono two track and then we went to three track and then we went to four track on tape machines and then eight track and then they told us they're coming out with a 16 track machine and we looked at one of them and said, what the hell are we gonna do with 16 tracks? Now I get stuff that comes in, it's 120 tracks, you know, Pro Tools, because people can just, and, and people don't have to make decisions. They can record uh, a kick drum uh, with five different, five different microphones at different times, so they have, e you know, each one, and then they'll make a decision when they start mixing. So, you know, they can delay their decisions until they get down to the final wire. And, I, you know, I think it's just, it's made things cost more, become more expensive. Um, records would be, would being able to tune everybody and, and make everything pristine as far as pitch and everything, it, it took a lot of the soul out of out of the records like uh, you know, Sam Cooke records, Nat Cole records, Sinatra. They never did any of that. Rosemary Clooney. You know, these people all had microphone techniques. They leaned in on the low notes. They backed off on the high notes. Um, they knew how to record. Today, they get on the mic and yell as loud as they can, sing as loud as they can. They don't move, you know, and it's just... So that's why everybody's using compressors to to compress everything. We, we never had we, we didn't have a compressor. So, you know, we learned how to <clears throat> limit by hand limiting, you know, riding gain on the vocal. I think it's great. I think that what's happening is great. I love the fact that at one point we were doing a lot of surround mixes on, on things. We don't do it as much anymore because the record companies um, didn't feel it was uh, profitable for them, so we we stopped. They stopped paying for us doing it. Um, but I think it's coming back, and I think the the earphones that you know, I think that's all the future. Neumann has consistently made the best microphones available to everybody. Um, the quality of their their microphones, the character of their microphones. There's nothing like them on the market. Um, you could do a wonderful, wonderful recording and have a wonderful studio with nothing but Neumann microphones. I mean, that's how good they are. And they make a, microphones that are good for everything. So um, I just would wish that all the manufacturers would, and some of them are really good. There's a lot of good audio. Technica does well and... Uh, um, Roya, the ribbon microphones, because um, Norman doesn't make ribbon microphones as far as I know. Um, but they could all, I, the guy that runs Roya is a dear friend of mine. He says Neumann is the company he looks up to. That's what he wants his company to be like. And uh, I think if if all the companies had the same attitude that Neumann does, because they help us, they do things for us, they're, they're willing to loan you something, um, it, it, they go overboard for it. And I'm, I'm really pleased uh, to be able to do something for them anytime I can. Mm -hmm.